Okay. Uh, what about the, uh, this is the section three of uh, of lecture three in hemodynamic disorder, which is uh, entitled embolism and infarction. Now we reach to the uh, third section, which is the infarction. Whatever, whatever, or despite the component of embolism, whatever the component of emboli, whether it is a thrombus or uh, air, fat. Uh, amniotic fluid finally it results in obstruction of vasculature with the resultant deprivation of a blood supply to the distal area from the site of obstruction with the resultant ischemic injury ischemic injury in the distal portion uh, uh, in the uh, in the area distally to the site of obstruction so an area of ischemic necrosis is known as infarction is known as infarction so, arterial thrombosis or arterial embolism underlies the vast majority of infarctions, okay? But really, not only embolism uh, can cause infarction. Less common causes for arterial obstruction include vasospasm, okay? Expansion of a theroma secondary to the intraplug hemorrhage, sometimes there is an intraplug hemorrhage result in uh, uh, sudden and fast enlargement of the atheroma causing sudden and abrupt uh, uh, obstruction of the vasculature okay or of the blood vessel uh, where the atheroma is present or sometimes due to extrinsic compression of the vessel extrinsic compression means outside okay and a pressure on the blood vessel come from outside, either by exp uh, expansile tumor or dissecting uh, aortic uh, aneurysm. Dissecting aortic aneurysm. What is the meaning of dissecting aortic aneurysm? It means a partial rupture in the wall of the uh, aorta. Partial rupture. means not complete rupture with escape of blood outside of the uh, aorta. No. Uh, there is a partial rupture with separation of the wall of the aorta uh, and uh, driving the blood in between the layers of the uh, aortic wall okay so the entire uh, portion will uh, pushed into uh, or inside the aortic lumen uh, while the outer layers will pushed outside this is known as the dissecting aneurysmal dilation <coughs> Other causes include uh, vascul uh, vascular twisting, like in case of uh, testicular torsion or bowel valvulus, or uh, due to entrapment in the hernial sac. Yes. The morphology of infarction. Infarcts uh, can be classified according to the appearance of the area, appearance of the area, of the infarct area, and according to the cause of uh, obstruction. The cause of obstruction. <coughs> the, uh, classified according uh, to the type of infarct area into uh, red or hemorrhagic infarction, and white or anemic infarction, okay? White or anemic infarction. The presence or absence of the microbial uh, uh, microbial infection into septic infarct and the bland infarct, okay? Septic when there is a uh, bacterial colonies and the bland when there is no infection. First, red infarcts occur in the following area or in the following uh, uh, aspects first venous occlusion venous occlusion like in case of ovarian torsion or loose tissue like in, in lung where the blood can collect in the infarct zone three in the tissue with dual circulation like in the lung small intestine uh, or even liver where partial or inadequate perfusion by collateral arterial supplies is typical four any previously congested tissue, previously congested tissue as a consequence of a sluggish venous flow, venous outflow, sorry. Five, when a flow is re-established after infarction has occurred. Okay, 
like in case of angioplasty like in case of angioplasty of an arterial obstruction means there is an arterial obstruction there is an infarct area and then angioplasty to re-establish the blood flow in, into the infarct area the infarct area consists of dead cells so uh, there is no benefit from restoration of a blood flow and sometimes re-establishment of a blood flow in an infarct area can augment the problem by uh, uh, deliver more and more uh, free radicals into the area and uh, yeah, cause more uh, death of cells. This is what we call it the uh, ischemic reperfusion injury. White infarcts occur in the following settings. Mostly in the solid organs, occur mostly in the solid organs, the end art with end arterial circulation, like in the heart, spleen, and kidney. Infarcts tend to be wedge in shape. Mostly white infarction being wedge in shape. Why? Because it occurs in the end arterial circulation. Okay? So, the apex uh, means wedge in shape, occur in wedge in shape. The wedge means a triangle in shape. Okay? The uh, occluded vessel being at the top or apex of the triangle and the organ periphery forming the base. Okay? The main histologic finding associated with infarction is ischemic coagulative necrosis. Ischemic coagulative necrosis. We will coagulative necrosis. عرفنا إنه هذا هو most form which occur in the deprivation or ischemic injury. Okay. Except of course in the central nervous system because the ischemic injury result in liquefactive necrosis. An inflammatory response begin begins in the margin of the infarct with a few hours and usually is well defined within one to two days. طبعاً هذا ال coagulative necrosis اللي هو associated with the preservation of the cellular outline and absence of nuclear staining. هذا يبقى for about one to two days. Once the inflammatory cells arrive to the area or trigger to the area. It will destroy this uh, uh, necrotized cells and engulf it and start the process of healing by, by replacement of the infarct tissue by uh, uh, fibrosis. Eventually, inflammation is followed by either regeneration or, uh, uh, or repair by fibrous tissue and the scar formation, and this depends on the type of the tissue where the infarction is occurred. If it is a regenerable tissue, like in the elementary tract, أحيانا مثلا يكون عندنا obstruction in the artery that supplies the mucosa of the intestine. So there is a mucosal infarction only. Mucosal infarction. This is of no clinical significance. Why? Because if there is a restriction of a blood flow, if there is a restriction of a blood flow by fibrinolysis, مثلا of the thromboembolus. And restoration of blood flow, there will be a regeneration of uh, mucosal epithelium. Okay. Uh, sometimes a mural uh, infarction occur in the intestine, including the mucosa and submucosa. Mucosa, mucosa is regenerable tissue, while submucosa is non-regenerable tissue. So, <coughs> after restoration of blood flow, there is a regeneration of the mucosa and fibrosis of the submucosa. So this depends on the type of the tissue if it is, uh, if it is uh, regenerable or non-regenerable. Yes, in the brain there is a liquefactive necrosis after ischemic tissue injury. A septic infarction occur when the infected cardiac valve vegetations embolize or when the microbes seed the necrotic tissue. In these cases the infarction will uh, converted into abscess. Abscess means also liquefactive necrosis. Okay? This is a gross appearance of infarction in the kidney. Here is the infarct area. It appears to be pale and usually uh, we said in the kidney it is one of the end artery organs so it associates with uh, or develops a white infarction or anemic infarction. So the area appears to be pale, depressed, 
uh, and there is a marked line demarcation line means between the variable tissue of the kidney and the area of ischemic necrosis factors that influence infarct development degree of tissue infarction depends on the following factors first anatomy of the vascular supply anatomy of the vascular supply tissues of dual circulation like the lung and liver and intestine are less vulnerable to infarction uh, owing to uh, uh, well nourished and uh, oxygen delivery by uh, <coughs> the other circulations uh, if one of the uh, ways of circulation is occluded second rate of occlusion it is slowly developing occlusions and أنهم يكون عندنا collateral circulation من يكون عندنا collateral circulation راح يصير minimization in the area of uh, obstruction إيش وقت هذه يصير development of the collateral blood supplies من يكون أكو slow developing occlusion are less likely to cause infarction because they allow time for development of collateral blood supply when you can add slowly occlusion and there is increased uh, oxygen demand in the ischemic area there will be a development or secret production of uh, hypoxia and usable factor from the ischemic area means ischemic area produces hypoxia and usable factor okay hypoxia and usable factor will encourage the production of the vascular endothelial growth factor vascular endothelial growth factor will causing sprouting of a new generated vasculature from the area prior to the site of obstruction okay these collateral circulations reach to the site of ischemia where the hypoxia inducible factor uh, occur in high concentration so as the obstruction of the uh, uh, partially occluded artery occur completely there is a minimal area of infarction will develop okay because of development there is enough time to develop a collateral circulation then three tissue vulnerability to ischemia you get the tissue who are vulnerable to ischemia susceptible like the nervous system and the myocardial cells okay the nervous system is most more susceptible to ischemia and the neurons can't withstand the deprivation of a blood supply uh, uh, for only two, uh, three to four minutes. Myocardial cells now uh, have more. Yani can tolerate the ischemia for more time than neurons. It can uh, continue for 20 to 30 minutes. While the fibroblast within the myocardial uh, remain viable after many hours of after many hours of ischemia okay so this is a variation thank you very much then it hell factors that influence infarction anatomy of the vascular supply you get the affected organ uh, have uh, is it of end artery or have a dual circulation طبعاً tissues of dual circulation uh, are uh, less vulnerable to infarction the rate of occlusion كل ما يكون rate أقل كل ما يكون عندنا chance to develop a collateral circulation okay and this minimizes the area of infarction after the occlusion of the main artery well, tissue vulnerability, كل ما يكون التشو less susceptible for infarction, كل ما يكون development of infarction أصعب في الaffected organ. Thank you very much.